This is a TM1602 modem and this was donated to me to make a video for how to use Ulink NAND to program the chip. So first you need to take off the three screws here and take off this back. The f this is the NAND flash and uh, to be able to access this flash we can use directly the 3.3 volt from the Ulink NAND. The power usage for 3.3 volt on the NAND is uh, only about 200 milliamps. However, if you decide not to do this, you can access the power from here. This is the ground, this is the power. Uh, you also need to modify the configuration to remove the single line. So to make the proper connection, use the clip, uh, make sure the one point, pin one point to this way. So now I move this a little bit up. And you can you can feel it once it's connected. It's it's quite um, secured. And then you took up this side to the Ulink NAND and lock it. So now let's connect to the USB port. So here in the software, I select the existing modem which is using use one uh, OC135 NAND. And in here, we can see the configuration uses the power from the Ulink NAND, which is give power here. Uh, the size is the same, so let's read this first. See if we can read it. Uh, let's detect. And then we read the entire flash. The NAND flash is automatically detected with the OFNI protocol, so the, uh, you do not need to define this flash. Okay, finish reading. So let's save the entire flash as the backup one, which you Now let us create a new XML for it. So go here, uh, we can go here and they say new target XML. We want to copy from the U, this one, and this call TM1602. And we do not need this thing, so we can remove this, remove it, remove it and only one block of flash we call flash. And then we can click OK. Now we can configure this to be TM602. And this will be it. So let's load the previous file. So it will go here. Let's read it one more time and see if we can, we can detect it. And because of the NAND flash, sometimes uh, it's better to read twice or even three times. Okay, let's save it to uh, to a verify
sometimes you see this error is bit error. So it, the difference between this byte is one bit. So A7 versus A7. A7 and A7 is one bit. Same as here, 0, 8 to 0 C is one bit. And typically because of the nature of NAND, it will have the ECC to fix this error and you do not need to worry too much. Okay, it has several bit error here. Sometimes NAND flash has bad sectors. So let's try to erase it, see if this is fully erased. And if you find erased and find some non-FF blocks, that means there is a bad block. So this is erased and I'm empty it. So let's try to verify. Great, this flash does not have any bad block. When after I erase, every sector is FF. So now let's try to program it. Okay, finish the programming. It takes about four minutes. Uh, let's try to verify it. This uh, definition now is to very simple. Use the entire block of flash as one segment. Uh, if people analyze the content of the flash, you, they may split the flash into several segments like, uh, you know, file system or kernel and kernel one or kernel backup. Compare the past. So we, in this video, we show how easy it is to use the Unix command to program the TM1602 modems. And there is no special setup needed, no external power needed. Uh, only thing you need to worry about is uh, sometimes you do have the bit error, but uh, it's, it's the nature of the NAND flash.